Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic is going to be something that's very big and white and very wet. Sometimes it's very scary, sometimes it's nice looking and it's in the sky. Well, it's going to be clouds. So we're going to talk about nice weather clouds and very bad weather or storms or rain clouds. So clouds tell us a lot about the weather, right? The weather is, is it snowing, is it raining or is it shy, uh, sunny? They come, well clouds come in all shapes and sizes. There are some that's shaped like this or shaped even bigger and some are smaller and some are medium size. Um, they are easily changed by air and wind as time goes by. So air and the wind, it changes the clouds. Those large fluffy white clouds are called cumulus clouds. We have cumulus clouds here, it's the name of the cloud. And this means it's going to be nice weather, sunny and uh, mild or medium weather. We see them on nice sunny days. But, however, thunderstorm clouds, thunder is what we hear when we see lightning and it's very scary. Clouds called cumulonimbus clouds over here are very tall, dark, and angry. Uh, they have no feelings, but we are saying that they look angry when people look at them because they're so dark and big. These clouds tell us a storm is coming soon. So when we see these dark clouds, the cumulonimbus clouds, we know that, oh, it's going to rain soon or it's going to be a storm soon. So you must get your umbrellas ready if you see these kind of clouds. All right, we're going to review three questions here. A, clouds come in all blank and blank. So there's many different kinds of clouds and the way they look and are they big or are they small. So the first one is shapes and the second one is sizes. So they come in all shapes. So maybe a circle or maybe in an egg shape or maybe in a line shape, right? And sizes means how big is it? Is it a big one or is it a small one? B, we see blank clouds on nice sunny days. So again, we were talking about the, you know, the nice cloud looking picture where it was sunny and it was in the daytime and it looked very pretty. And we have the names of those two clouds. The first cloud, the name was a cumulus cloud. I know this is a very new word and long word for you, but it's just the name that we must learn about these clouds. See, um, a storm is probably coming if we see blank clouds. So the cumulus clouds, it was for the nice looking clouds, the nice weather, sunny weather. And on the opposite side, where it was very dark and it was very angry and it looked like it was going to rain, well, they, it has a name too. We call it the cumulonimbus cloud. So these are nice happy clouds and very dark and angry, rainy, stormy clouds. Okay, we have three review, I guess, grammar points here. A, clouds blank tell us a lot about the weather. So we have the subject here, clouds, right? And what, how are they related? Well, we can study the clouds and we can um, know the weather. Is it going to be nice weather or bad weather? And we have to notice here that we're talking about many clouds or all clouds. We see the S here, right? So we're talking about all the clouds in the world and it's many. So we want to choose the right verb here and it is tell because when we have many subjects, we do not put the S here. So we say clouds tell, uh, cats tell, or brothers tell, right? For this one, it has an S here, and we use this verb when 
there's only one thing. So if we say one cloud tells or one cat tells, right? So for this one, it's when we have many things, right? And for this one, it's when we only have one thing. We're talking about one thing. For this one, we need a be verb. So we have to say clouds are telling us or cats are walking. The boy is talking, right? So before we put an ing, we must put, you know, am or is or are, one of those be verbs. B, clouds are easily blanked by air and wind. So the main sort of subject here that we're, that's doing the action is actually the air and the wind. What the air and wind does is they're the main action makers and they are, you know, doing the action to the clouds. So the clouds are getting the action, right? They are getting the change. We know this by this word by, right? So we want to use something called a past participle or in Korean we say a 과거 분사, right? Is this one changed by? So we don't say the cheese is ate by the mouse. We say the cheese is eaten by the mouse. This little hint here is telling us that we need a 과거 분사 or we need a past participle because this is getting the action and air and wind is giving the action, right? It's switched here. See, these clouds tell us a storm blank coming soon. So storm clouds, we remember it's a cumulonimbus cloud and this is talking about the future, right? Now there's a couple of different ways to say we're going to talk about the future. And the first one, let's go here, is coming soon. So if we put an ing at the back of the verb, at the back of the 동사, then we know it's going to the future. I am swimming soon. I am eating tomorrow, right? So when we just put an ing plus the be verb, it can be a future tense. Will, if we, this is another way we can use future tense, but when we use will, we don't put the ing here. So we can say, uh, tell us a storm will come soon. There's no ing. So when we use will, we just use the regular verb, will come, will eat. We don't say will eating or will talking. We say is talking, am walking, like that, okay? So again, uh, we learned about the clouds today, right? There's more than these two clouds. There's very high clouds and very low clouds, but these are just the basic clouds that you can try to remember and you can try to see them in the sky in the daytime or at nighttime. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.